What's up, fellas? Yes, I'm live. I am live, live, live. Like I said, every Tuesday and Thursday. Now, this Thursday is Thanksgiving, so we're going to try to go live. If you guys think that would be cool, so let me know. If you think going live on Thanksgiving around 6 or so, maybe 7, I don't know. You tell me what a good time is, actually. I don't mind going live and let you guys meet some of my family that's coming down. I'm sure you guys have a lot of family hanging out with you guys. So I am chilling in my office. Want to give you guys a few updates on what we've been doing. Want to answer a few fishing questions. And again, thank you for all the support. What's up? I love all the comments coming in. Joe Erickson, Raphael, Jay Stokes. You guys are awesome. Mad fishing. What's up? 423. Well, guess what? I'm by myself. Where's B-Dog? B-Dog is not here right now. We've been filming all day today, actually. We went out uh, not too far from Clewiston, actually, and we filmed with my dad today. So we're going to have those videos up real soon. Really, really cool stuff. Brandon and I and my dad did some really cool stuff, and Brandon actually um, surprised me again today. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. you got to watch the video. It's unbelievable. Brandon, really? I mean, seriously. So Brandon is tired. We haven't eaten. I don't think I've uh, added any food all day today. And Brandon only had one bag of bugles and he wouldn't share. So <clears throat> he took my truck and went to get something to eat. So I figured I'd hang out with you guys for about 10 minutes and uh, answer a few fishing questions and again tell you what's going on. So quick updates real quick. Number one, real important, we have the AFCO promotion going on. If you guys want to come down here to Florida and fish with me, you need to jump over to the AFCO website. We'll drop a link uh, in the description on this video, and it's also in several of the other videos that we've posted recently. And they're going to pick somebody. That's all there is to it. We're going to film an episode uh, of the SMC for the YouTube channel. So you guys need to jump over. So if you know anybody that would love to come down here to Florida and fish with me, be sure to share this video or share that link with them. That's really cool. So second thing is, what do we have coming down the pipe? Well, tomorrow we've got a really cool video coming down a little hunt video a little switch of gears that's what i'm talking about that's what we're going to do tomorrow a little hunt video going to drop tomorrow and then africa day two of the tournament will post on saturday and uh i think we'll go to you live on either thursday or friday i think thursday you let me know okay just let me know other than that, uh, we've got an Okeechobee video coming out real soon that's going to be hot, and then we're going to start fishing on Okeechobee a lot, doing lots of cool stuff down here. I think I've uh, been talking to Rob. I think he's going to try to come down in December, talk to Josh, Black Tip H, and uh, try to get him out of here on Okeechobee for a few days, and it's going to be fun. So that's what's going on content-wise, promotion-wise, the AFCO deal. That's, that's going to be awesome, by the way, guys. So... Let's jump into a few fishing questions. How about that? All right, guys. Let's see what you got. When can we get some team spinner worm gear? We're working on that. I've, been, I've said that a couple times, though, but we are working on that. Matter of fact, we have <clears throat> a limited supply of hats left, SMC hats, in the link on all the videos that we've posted recently. So check that out. There's only a few left. And when we're done with that style... They're done, okay? So you're probably not going to be able to get any more of them of that exact style. So there's a few left. Jump over there and check it out. We're also going to have some t-shirts coming down the pipe and, of course, a spinner worm t-shirt and probably a hat of some sort. We'll make Brandon happy. I think Brandon would love the fact that you guys are buying spinner worm gear. Absolutely. All right. John Bolton asked, do I ever do any kayak fishing? I actually have. I actually did do kayak fishing <clears throat> out of the Predator XL. It's made by uh, uh, Old Town, a really cool kayak. I did one with D Almighty. We came down, we did the Everglades, which was a lot of fun. And uh, that video is actually on the channel. So if you haven't seen that, like literally that was one of the coolest trips ever. We strapped the kayaks to the airboat, went way into the interior part of the Everglades to this like canal that you can't even get to other than by airboat. And we jacked up the bass, tons of bass. It was awesome. It was awesome. So that was good. Yes, we have done that. And guys, look, I apologize for not having anything real exciting on this live. But you know what? You guys that are watching are the true fans, and I appreciate that. I said every Tuesday, every Thursday, we're doing the best we can, my friend. And we got cool stuff coming down the pipe. So just to give you a quick update, tournament videos are going to start dropping soon. FLW Tour starts right here on Lake Okeechobee. 
in, in January this year, which is a little earlier than we have started here, and then we head up to the Harris Chain. So the first two tournaments, which I'm super excited about, right here in Florida. So could not get any better than that. So we're going to have awesome stuff coming down the pipe. We've got a couple of the really cool ideas that we're going to do, and um, it's going to be some good stuff. So if you guys are around, you need to get on FLW.com, check out where the tournaments are going to be. We're going to do lots of cool promotions, some meet and greets in and around the tournaments as well. And there's even going to be an opportunity for you guys to jump in the boat with me at these FLW tournaments, after the tournament, of course, or if I don't make the cut, and go out on that lake and goof around a little bit. So we'll have those details coming down the pipe soon. Those aren't revealed yet, but that is another cool thing that we're going to have to do. So again, go to the FLW schedule, see what's up, see where the tournament's going to be, see how close you are to them. Come hang out. All right. <clears throat> Luca asks, how big is that bass on the wall? Oh, that one back there? That one's, uh, what was that? My dad said that the other day in that live. That's a fish my dad caught. That fish my dad caught like 1973, Santee Cooper, and it weighed 11, I think 11.3. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Keep them coming, fellas. All right. Africa. Africa was cool. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. Here's a really cool thing that we're going to do next year. And I'm not sure the exact month, but it's probably going to be like September, October time frame. We're going to go to Africa. We're going to catch big bass. There's several lakes in Africa, like in Zimbabwe and Botswana and some other places that have monster largemouth bass. And we're going to go do that. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to film that. Hopefully, I'm going to take a few guys with me. And do a little uh, do a little big fish video, actually a bunch of them. So that's going to be really awesome for sure. All right, all right. What's the coldest weather? This uh, Mr. An Andrews one ninety asks, "What's the coldest weather you've ever fished a tournament?" And it's thirty five here and dropping. <clears throat> that's a good. Here's a good story for you. <clears throat> Table Rock Lake, which is in Missouri, not known for giant bass, right? We had a tournament there a few years ago. It was actually about five or six years ago. It was like February. It was like March, February, March. I mean, it was like freezing, dude. I mean, like freezing, okay? Water temperature was like 40, okay? Like seriously, 40. Snowing, sleet, everything else. In the tournament, I get out from one of these points in about 35, 40 foot of water, and I see some fish on the Garmin graph. I take a, I think I was throwing like a Berkeley hollow belly bait. It's like a Bastrix on a little jig head. I threw it out there, counted it down to like 30 feet deep, reeling it real, real slow on like 10 pound line on a bait caster over the top of these trees. All of a sudden, this is in the tournament now, all of a sudden, boom, like it loads up. And I'm thinking, the thing is dogging me out. Like I cannot get it up off the bottom. It's like just coming to me, but staying deep. And I'm thinking, there's just, it's not a, it's not a striper because it's not running, and it's too big feeling to be a bass for this lake, so it's got to be probably a catfish. So the co angler's there, and he's like, "You may get the net," and I'm like, "Well, this can't be a bass." I mean, I'm like grouper fishing this thing. I'm like pulling the rod up and down. It's going crazy. I finally looking down the water, and I see this fish. Finally, dude, it's a bass. It's a giant bass. So he nets it up. I land the fish. Fish weighed nine pounds at Table Rock Lake. Nine pounds. So day one of the tournament, I was in sixth place with a nine pounder. It was crazy. I did pretty good in the tournament. I think I was actually in like third place. I ended up finishing sixth overall. But again, that water temperature was like 40 degrees, man. So there it is. All right. Fishing Wisconsin. What up, man? What up? Best lures for kids to start fishing. <clears throat> I think the best, here's some good advice, okay, for you guys. The best lures to fish, now again, it depends where you are. This time of the year is cold a lot of places. But topwater lures, buzz baits, swim baits, things like that, wheelless swim baits, frogs, things like that are so fun because when you get bit, it's so visual. And that's what really, I think, hooks somebody into loving fishing when they see that bass blow up on the surface. That's pretty cool. But you know, it's cold right now, so again, you can catch a lot of fish on little finesse worms. 
So, what's up, Hector? Man, I appreciate that. And again, guys, just hanging out with you, giving you a few little updates. I know this is probably the most boring live yet. I get it. I get it. So, I apologize. But I do appreciate you guys hanging out. Have you ever fished on a military base? No, I have not. And I have fished on Toledo Bend. Another guy asked me. Yes, Toledo Bend's awesome. Ooh, I love that. See this deer? I know it's looking the wrong way, right? But that deer my son shot when he was like 10. And that deer my other son shot when he was like the same time. So we shot this in Kansas, which isn't a real big deer, right? Okay, there's a lot of people that have bigger deers than that. But not bad for the first buck. And then we have this one right here. And then we have turkey right here. Jacob shot this turkey. Big gobbler. That's the tail feathers of a gobbler. Pretty cool, huh? All right. So, let's see what else we got, guys. We're going to blow out of here. Again, thanks for hanging out. We're going to drop some cool stuff tomorrow. We're going to do uh, another live coming Thursday. You just got to let me know what time. So, drop a comment down below. Let me know what time on Thursday. I know everybody's going to be super busy with Thanksgiving. And I uh, appreciate it. So... Happy birthday to somebody. Let's see who that is. Happy birthday, cousin Nick Gurr. That's right. What's up? All right. Have I ever fished in the Bahamas? I have fished in the Bahamas. I have. Caught a lot of dolphin and lobsters. Appreciate it, Scotty. All right, guys. Look, I'm out. Cue up the questions for Thursday. We'll do something. Drop a, a couple comments down below. Let me know what time. And uh, Billy Got a Bass will be back. I promise you, Billy is coming back. He'll be here in January. We've got Matt Airy coming, doing a lot of stuff with us on the channel this year. Tom Reddington will be back. We're going to have some special guests like Thrift, a little Andy Morgan, hopefully. Some cool cats. So appreciate all the support, guys. And again, I'm out. Damn.